What's going on everybody? So Pokemon Legends Z A, Z to A, A to Z, I don't really know, was just announced and it it's so hype. We all expected Unova remix or Johto remix or something in between. And we got a Legends Kalos game. And it's releasing in 2025. It's like I just want to kind of discuss, kind of go through maybe the trailer again here. Um, we're gonna open up Pokemon's website, see all the official documentation, see what they have to say about it, see what conclusions maybe we can draw. This is fresh off the press, everybody. I just took a shower. I just posted my reaction. I just ended my stream. I'm back here now, and I'm ready to draw some conclusions. I haven't even been on social media yet. This is my raw, like, this is this is me, and I'm so excited to go through this with you guys. So let's start off on the the the, the website right here. A new ambitious entry to the Pokemon video game series, Pokemon Legends Z to A, releasing simultaneously worldwide in 2025. So right off the bat. Do we think this is going to be on the Nintendo Switch or is it going to be the next console? Because it's kind of in the air right now that there's supposedly a new system dropping this year. It could drop later next year. It's probably going to end up getting delayed. If I had to predict, I'm going to say it's getting delayed. But anyway, it, it's it's possible. Like it could be for the next console, but it, it makes it just makes me wonder like the optimization. Obviously, Legends Arceus was a, it was a it was a fun. It was a good game. Um, but obviously there was like some optimization. I know some people had issues with the visuals. I didn't personally mind them that much. Will it look better? Um, if it's on the next console, it probably will. If it's on the Switch, is it gonna be the same graphics as Legends Arceus? We don't really know yet. Z to A. I'm trying to think of what that name could mean. Because like, obviously Z, it has something to do with Zygarde. Um, we obviously never got like a third version or like a, a successor to Pokemon X and Y, right? So, this is there was one in the works like there's like like it's out there that there was like a pokemon x2 or y2 or pokemon z x z y z whatever it was called it got scrapped and then they just moved on to sun and moon or omega ruby and alpha sapphire so maybe they like th this is them bringing that back it's them giving kalos that closure giving it a full story we already have like perfect zygarde we already have 10 percent zygarde I imagine we're gonna get something new again, maybe like a Mega Zygarde. I don't know. Obviously, of course, Z A is flipped backward is A Z. Um, there's the character A Z from Pokemon X and Y. He's freaking old as hell. If there's even like, I I did see some people say maybe this game is in the future because the trailer looked kind of futuristic. No matter what time period this is in, AZ is probably going to be in this game. And we're just going to see him walking around, chilling. Maybe he has his flow at. Maybe he still doesn't. So obviously, there's 26 letters. Like, may maybe it's like saying, like, Z to A, we're going to, like, progress back in time to, like, learn something or move forward in time. Z to A, the alphabet. The unknowns. There was unknowns in the Pokemon Presents. Maybe the unknowns are tied into Zygarde somehow. I can't I can't get into all this. I don't know. I don't know what any of this means. It was right here. The unknown spelled something out. We don't what is that? S-O-E-Y-U-E. -E. I don't know what that means. We've never seen that word before. Maybe it's the region. Maybe it's the name for like historic Kalos. Like we have Hisui for Sinnoh. Maybe it's Soyu. Maybe it's Soyu. I don't know how to say that. Soyu. Maybe that's the name of this like region um the unknown it's gotta have something to do with the unknowns and the zygote like i'm calling it there's some kind of connection with them like come on this guy looks so sus this guy's doing something he's on to something urban development plan blank city which now means lumio city as we know urban redevelopment plan so maybe something happened to lumio C city and now it's being rebuilt so maybe it is in the future it's very futuristic looking. It's possible that this is like a futuristic Lumio City. And then we have the Megas. The Megas were teased again. That's also very interesting. I think we're going to get some new Megas as well. I, I hope so. Megas are back. We, I think we had finally just given up on the hope that Megas would ever come back. And they finally did it. They really did it all. They brought back megas and they gave us a pokemon z like a x and y sequel all in one and a new legends game like this is really what people wanted um obviously our options were like johto and unova and it was just like oh which one are they gonna do it was neither we were wrong and again i gotta point out it's all speculation but like 
What if Xerneas and Evelto come back and they have like new forms as well? Zygarde has a max form that we've seen and he could even get go further um, in this game. But what if Xerneas and Evelto also get new forms as well? Let's go back to this. Let's, let me continue the website. I'm getting off track. A new adventure awaits within Lumio City where an urban redevelopment plan is underway to shape the city into a place that belongs to both people and Pokemon. Please look forward to seeing it for yourself. That's so interesting because in X and Y, it kind of already does belong to people and Pokemon, right? Like there is people and Pokemon in Lumio City. Is it saying like, now I'm thinking it's in the past. Maybe it is some sort of crazy like time travel thing again. Because obviously in Legends Arceus, you have Arceus bringing you to Hisui, right? Like ancient Sinnoh. Maybe something similar happens here where like you start at Z, which is like the present or the future, and you work your way back to point A. And that's where they start working on Lumio City from rebuilding from when the Pokemon War in Pokemon X and Y happened. Or sorry, like prior to Pokemon X and Y. But it's it's mentioned a lot in the game. That that might be my theory on this. Let me know what you guys think of that. Maybe there's a big hole I'm missing. The entirety of the game takes place in Lumio City is the way it kind of seems like what, based off what they're saying, it seems like the entirety of the game is based in Lumio City. So is it kind of like, is it in the past where it's kind of like a Jubilife Village type thing and it doesn't really have a boundary yet, but like it's building its way up as like, kind of like as the game progresses or is it gonna be like just futuristic Lumio City? Or somewhere in between or is it really just lumio city as we know it if we are in that city for the whole game does that mean i'm not really sure how that would work i i see what, how people might be a little worried about it but i'm actually i'm very interested and intrigued by it and i think I, they wouldn't do that for no reason like I, i'm sure the game will still feel very very vast so i'm not too worried about it that's all we have to work with what would the starters be then like let's see Gen 1 starters already have Megas. Like, I doubt they give us a Gen 1 starter. We had Cyndaquil already, so we won't get Cyndaquil. We had Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott. Alright, this is how I'm going to do it. Let's see. Who who do we think we could see as the starters? We've had Rowlet before. Uh, we had... Where's Cyndaquil? We had Cyndaquil. And we had Oshawott. Where's Oshawott? Okay. Uh, Pikachu won't be a starter. Eevee won't be a starter. I'm ruling out Charmander... Uh, Squirtle and Bulbasaur because they have Megas already and they were introduced in Gen 6. I doubt I doubt they they give us those. So that leaves us with who would who would be an interesting starter to have? Um I don't think they would do Froki. Maybe they would. Because right here in the trailer, it says a vision of beautiful coexistence between people and Pokemon. And then that kind of goes back to um what they say here, a city that belongs to both people and Pokemon is what they're working on uh, developing. So, I mean, it, whatever starters there are, I, I I have a good feeling they'll get Megas. I don't think we'll get Froakie because Froakie kind of has Ash Greninja, which is basically a Mega already. And the reason I can draw that conclusion is like, we're trying to, to build the bond of people and Pokemon. They want to show us more. They want to show us how far it can go. Um, Porchic has a Mega. Um, Sceptile has a Mega, and Mudkip has a Mega as well. My picks for the starters, I would want, I'm gonna go with Litten. Who would the next, who would the water starter be? I can see it being Sobble, Poplio, or Piplup. I really could. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, um, I'm not gonna choose Poplio because I chose Litten, and that's already from Gen 7. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Piplup, and then for the grass starter, I, I have a, ooh, I have a, I have a Chespin vibe. I think we're gonna get Chespin as a starter. Um, but then again, maybe not because it's already originally from Kalos. So I, I, I'm going to go ahead and draw draw an X on all the original Kalos starters. Um, I don't think they will use this. So who would it be then? Could it be Grookey? Could it be Turtwig? It could be Turtwig. I don't know. Like I'm obviously just drawing assumptions out of my butt. But for me, I think the starters are going to be Turtwig, Litten, and Piplup. I think these are the starters. I, I think that's the starters we're going to have. 
It's Turkwig, Litton, and Pip Pipla. That's my prediction. I used my process of elimination based on, you know, like, well, not what I think. Obviously, this is kind of just BS and speculation, but at this point, everything in this video is speculation. Other than that, I mean, it's really, I'm really curious to see whether it is in the future, the past, or if we do kind of travel through multiple timelines. And if we do kind of, how would that work? Because as far as we know, Zy we don't know a lot about Zygarde, right? But it doesn't have the ability to take us back in time like, like Arceus did, or like if we get a Legend Celebi game, like Celebi would be able to do. What Pokemon in Kalos has the ability to do that? It, it, uh, it's gotta have something, some sort of tie-in with Unknown. And again, I don't really know what Unknown can do there either, but... Anyway, this is my speculation. Um, maybe it all ties back into the Great Pokemon War, like I said, but... At the end of the day, this is all the speculation. This is this is what I've come up with. Um, if you guys have any ideas, any uh, theories, let me know. We'll continue. I'll maybe do a follow-up video with all of the theories that you guys give me. Let you know what I think on them. Um, it'd be really interesting. Um, I'm also probably going to be live later today. So keep an eye out for that. We can have some live discussions as well. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next discussion video. Bye.